morning everyone welcome back to another vlog this week is our last week in the UK um, so I thought I'll just try and vlog as much as I can because we have a lot coming up and yeah a lot planned for the next week just now we are two days away from officially moving out of our house and the buyers moving in so we have emptied the house completely however there's a few things still in our garage that we need to just empty right now we're on our way to get Ren's little jags done which makes me super sad but I have you in with me so he is going to go and obviously take him in um, I've done every other one up until now both with Isla and Ren so I'm quite happy to pass that baton over um, and then we're going to go and grab some coffee then we need to go to the solicitors um, and sign over the What's the name? Deposition. 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 So I'll take you along with us there as well. Um, I live at nursery today, so we are just trying to get as much done as we can. So yes, first stop, Ren's Jags, and then I will catch up with you after then. Oh no. This is just the worst. Also, look at me. Oh my goodness. Um, because we are staying with our in-laws, <laughs> I've literally left my shoes at, all, at the house and then we went back to get them and I totally forgot so now I'm wearing my sister's Adidas sliders. <laughs> so I've just had lunch and just popped back to our house because Someone was coming to collect Isla's little bed, her little toddler bed, so that's now away. So everything, furniture-wise, is now gone. Um, Ren's room is completely empty. This room is just our air freight thing, so that box in the corner is to go. And this is everything that we are going to be air freighting over. So we're going to have to go home and basically book that in now that we know everything. <laughs> everything that we're taking this here, wow. So that little room is done, her bathroom is now empty and Isla's room, the only thing, oh my goodness, the only thing left is our little doll's house. Um, the pictures I've decided I'm just going to bin these because I can just print new ones over there, um, that's not an issue. And yeah, our little bed is now gone, so everything is away in Isla's room and then our room has... <laughs> Everything's gone. Look at the carpet from where our bed used to be. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, all gone. I mean, I'll be honest, it feels like crazy that we've managed to just empty this all. I really didn't think that was going to happen. But we got there in the end. And then into our living room, which is now completely emptied. No deck chairs. Everything is gone. Um, Ren's little phone. <laughs> um, into our kitchen, which is also empty. All the all the cupboards, sorry, are emptied. It's all done. Um, and then in the utility, I just have um, some washing there because I just keep coming back until basically Thursday and just doing our washing um, at the house and just drying it here. Um, but yeah, everything is now done. Oh my goodness, look at this. So this is our current situation. Um, this, we are obviously at my mother-in-law's house and these are all our bags that we've brought up from our house and some of them are packed, some of them are not. But we've kind of got to the situation where there's clothes everywhere. And we're unsure so we're going to unpack and then repack again and hope that we can <laughs> tidy this place up Ok, 
Okay, so it's now 10 o'clock and we are now done for the evening. We've managed to pack four bags. Um, these are a Sports Direct bag. Obviously, if you had watched previous videos, you would have seen that we talked about these and basically they weigh so much less than kind of your standard suitcase um, and they're bigger. You fit more things in. So we actually, we started off with two and we now have four. We decided to get rid of one of the big suitcases and use one of these. Um, so in total we're going to have five cases, so four Sports Direct ones. And then this one over here which is now our Dubai case. So we've managed to pack that for all four of us. Um, all our kind of day outfits, evening outfits and then obviously our toiletries are still to go in there. But we also have our clothes then from Dubai to Sydney. So everything's in here. We do actually have some space left in here, which is good. Um, so we're just kind of leaving that as it is at the moment. And then here, we just have a kind of selection of clothes that we are potentially going to be travelling in. Um, and then over here, the clothes that are left are basically clothes that we're going to be wearing over the next few days and potentially not taking with us. The, these here are our carry-on bags half packed, I'm not really kind of sat and went through them yet but there's some things in there um, and then down here we have Isla and Ren's trunkies, again they have some things in them but not fully packed um, and then the boxes at the side are just things that we still need to decide what we're doing, what cases are going in. Same with this one, kind of mixture of toiletries and like chargers and things that we do obviously still need to pack so huge job done tonight and obviously very good. <laughs> I was getting a bit stressed about it but um, I'm glad to see that they are now packed and tomorrow night we'll just continue on with our toiletries and just extra things that hopefully we can fit in the case because if not then they need to be air freighted. So good job done tonight and I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning everyone, six days to go. Today I am actually going to meet my best friend and we're going to go and get our nails done. I'm going to meet her for a coffee, get our nails done and I'm getting my hair done later on today. I honestly cannot wait. I can't believe it's taken this long to even get it done. But here we are um, and I was on a forum last night and somebody had mentioned that it was $400 $400 to get your hair done in Australia. So this might be the last time I ever get my hair done <laughs> because that is incredible. However, I obviously need to back that up by saying that other people had commented and said that if you get a home hairdresser, um, they are much cheaper. Um, but that seemed to be the average price for a haircut in Sydney. So yeah, wow, I'll be like Rapunzel in a few years time because I am not paying that. Um, so I'm gonna go and get pampered today um, which I'm so looking forward to. Um, my car, this is also the last day ever for my car. It's getting collected in one hour. So basically we sold it to a dealership. It goes to like an auction. It was a company called Motor Point or Motorway Point, something like that. And all these dealers then, like it goes to an auction, they all bid for it. And then the highest price, basically the dealership sends out a driver and they, do the sale there and then give you the money and the car gets taken away. So it's all been really, really good. Ewan sold his car through them and we've just done the same with mine. So that's going today. Um, going to meet my friend. It's our last ever day in our house. There's a lot happening today. A lot happening today. So um, it's just me and Renda now. Isla's at nursery. Ewan's away to the house and we are about to get in the car and go and meet him. So I'll take you all with us. So slight change of plan. Just popped, well tried to put Ren in the car and you and away with the car seats which we've just completely forgot about. So he's on his way back down to collect Ren and then I'll drive up to the house um, with my car that's getting sold. Um, and then he will take Ren, oh my goodness how annoying are car seats, he will take Ren in my in-laws car. <laughs> I honestly cannot think what I'm doing today. Um, and then my friend is going to collect me because I now don't have a car. However, on the plus side, no payments and no insurance costs, <laughs> no fuel. <laughs> so let's think positive. Hey!
Morning everyone, so today is Thursday and it's Isla's last day nursery, how sad. Um, yesterday I actually popped in to Morrison's on my way home and I just picked up some cupcakes. I checked with the nursery and they don't allow like home baking, um, just shop bought cakes. So I just picked up these 12 party cupcakes. Um, these are only £2, what, what a bargain. Um, so I got two packs of those. And then I got these on Amazon, just these little Australia cupcake um, kind of toppers. I didn't realise they don't come with cocktail sticks and I don't have any left, so I'm going to have to sit and cut them all out. But this is what they look like. This is them here. Um, so obviously I'm not going to use this lager one, um, but I'm just going to try and cut them all out just now and just basically stick them on the top. Um, it's just for the kids. They'll love it. Um, and I'll take those in. The time just now is... 20 to 8 so I have to get a move on and get these cut out and then today we hand over keys for our house um, which do you know what probably should feel really sad but it just doesn't like I'm just I'm excited for it so we need to drop out at nursery then go and just basically clean the house just basically you know have it nice for people moving in so we're going to clean the house and then we need to go and drop the keys off at the estate agents before 10 o'clock so we've got a lot to do this morning um but as always i will take you all with us so those have turned out all right i obviously had to cut them all out um and i've just stuck them onto the top just with some water on the back of them um, I've decided I'm just going to leave these ones in the wrapper just in case they are funny with me opening them. I don't think they will be but I just don't want to get there and then they don't have anything. So I've just left these those ones like that um, and I'll cut up some more little bits and just pop them on the top. But these ones look so good. Ayla, yeah. come and see this. This is for all your friends at nursery and you. And can you see who's on the top of them? Uh, I want the kangaroo. Who else is there? I want Kevin. Don't touch him. You need to keep him for nursery. What's his name? Kevin Koala. Kevin the Koala. Yeah, I, I want Kevin. You want Kevin? Yeah. Yeah? Well, once you get to nursery, you can tell your friends all about Kevin the Koala. And you can all enjoy one today. Is that exciting? <laughs> Have fun, darling. Have fun too. I will have fun. You don't put your jacket on. No. No. You want to carry a pack of your cupcakes? Mummy carry them. Yeah. Bye, darling. Okay. Bye. Love you. Come on, then. Oh. the doll's house for sale 
And I thought whilst I was actually taking pictures of it all, I have taken out the little Sylvanian families, um, the little bunny rabbits, um, and I'm going to take these with us because I think this would be a great addition. We're going to buy whatever money we get for this. I'm going to buy a new one over there and we can, you know, do the same thing, upcycle it and hopefully make it similar to this one and then the same bunny rabbits will live in it so they're also moving house <laughs> um so yeah i think that'll be a nice little surprise for Ayla. i'll just pack them away in the case and yeah when we get there and do our new house i'll then have these little rabbits to stay in with her and i think that'll be a nice little touch Last our time in the house, where all our memories are. Mm -hmm. Bring all our kids back here. Mm -hmm. So we are now back from our little date day. Me and Ewan went into Livingston today and we just basically got a few extra bits of shopping that we felt like we needed for our trip away, both to Dubai and Australia. Um, however, we managed to pick up basically everything we went for, which is so good. So we started at Livingston Designer Outlet and before anything we were both super hungry so we stopped off to get some food and this time we went for a noodle bar which was so nice and then I was after a new bag and a new sun hat so obviously I stopped at River Island, my favourite shop and I was stuck between two bags, this one and this larger one but in the end I did go for the second one and I also managed to get myself a hat so it was a nice successful trip. And then we went into Lush because the following day was Easter and I wanted to get Isla a nice Easter bath bomb instead of a chocolate Easter egg and this one was perfect for her. We then picked up the rest for shopping and finished our trip in Starbucks, picked up two Frappuccinos before heading home. And we're now back and just chill, chilling in the house because my in-laws are way out with Isla and Ren so it's actually nice to just relax in the house for a little while Um, it's so quiet and then Ewan just now he's actually looking at a house that we found um, that we really like actually in Sydney and hopefully well we're hoping that we can apply to view it basically in like a week's time when we go over there that would be amazing if we could because it looks incredible so it's good that we can now start to look properties that we are interested in renting and basically yeah request to view them so we're doing that just now and then I need to go and get changed because we are going on another extended date day and we're going to go go-karting this is something that me and Ewan really enjoy actually and we've never been um, we've both been go-karting but never together um, and we're both very competitive so we'll see how it goes Ewan thinks he's going to win I'm going to get lapped. <laughs> Your words were, you're going to lap me in reverse. Mm -hmm. So sure. I'm saying nothing because we'll just wait and see. We'll just wait and see. Um, we have, I've actually invited my dad as well. My dad is so competitive. Ewan's dad is coming. He's so competitive. It's going to be a very competitive time. Ewan's sister's also coming with a partner, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure how Ali will be. I don't know if she'll be competitive or not. But we'll soon find out. So I'm actually going to go and get changed because I'm not sure that Peril's... Peril's in the paddock! <gasps> That's what I could be. That could be me. Um, I'm not sure Peril's are appropriate attire. So I'm going to go and get changed into my leggings and um, hoodie. 
Um, and then my dad will arrive and then we will go. So I'll try and film what I can um, whilst we're there. Um, but I'm so excited. I am actually super excited for this because I feel like it's something that you don't, you wouldn't expect me to enjoy but actually I really really do enjoy it. I'd much rather do this than like go for cocktails which is really funny. So yes I will take you with us. I'm feeling high. I actually never managed to vlog yesterday because we literally just got up in the morning. Ben had quite a tough night the night before um, with his little teeth, bless him. So we got up in the morning and we just had our like get shit done day. Um, yeah, we just basically had to unpack some of the cases because they were overweight and then try and put them into other cases and um, sort out the kind of hand luggage situation so I've ended up ditching a carry like backpack for an actual case and um, so we just had quite a stressful day then last night I <coughs> had my leaving night with my best friend of 20 years and um, we decided to go into Edinburgh and have some drinks and dinner it was so nice I had the best time ever um, so yes, I never managed to vlog that either. I'm actually getting terrible at this, but I had such a good night and not too much of a bad head this morning, which is amazing. So um, today, what day is it today? Isla, what day is it today? Uh, Monday. It's Sunday, Easter Sunday. And who left you some gifts this morning? Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. And currently it is 10 o'clock. We are on our way to see my dad and all his biker friends. They do, every year they do an Easter egg run and it's for charity and there's like a thousand motorbikes that leave. And with my dad being a biker, he is one of them. So we're going to go and see him off. Um, it's your first time seeing Pops out with all his friends, isn't it? So we're going to go and see him just now. Then we need to do a mad dash to my mum's and see her and then we have so much to do today it's unbelievable to great grandma and great papa. We, we do also need to go and see great grandma and great papa we have so much to do so yes i will try my best to take you all with us today um i'm currently in the back with isla and say hi baba say hi yeah so yes i will see you all soon <laughs> Five kilograms. C point nine. It's good. Can we get seven kilograms for hand, don't we? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness, so I think we are finally done with packing. Each of these cases has just under 23 kilograms in them, which is the maximum allowance that we can take. And I mean, they are completely full. <laughs> um, but it's so good. We have weighed each one using our very trusty, I mean, a little scale. <laughs> it's tiny, but it's been so good. I got this on Amazon for literally a couple of pounds. And yeah, we've weighed each one. And then we've also used um, like our own scales from the house and then done the whole trick of standing on them and then taking away the weight of you. So, and they seem to be there or thereabouts. So hopefully we're not over. I don't think we are. They are all kind of 22 point something. So fingers crossed we're all fine. The little trunkies at the front and this small suitcase here, um, those are, so Ewan's carry on, Isla and Ren's carry on and mine, I've still got to just finish packing that but it's quite a small bag. Those we get 7 kilograms each allowance with Emirates so um, this one here has basically I think 6.9 in it and the little chunkies are sitting at 3 kilograms so we're fine for that. Um, and then Ren's pram, stroller pram will come on 
right through the gates and everything with us until we get on the aircraft. If the aircraft has space for it, they will take it on and store it on the aircraft. If they don't, however, they'll just take it down to the hold and it'll be last on and first off. So that's not too bad. That is not included in your allowance. So that's also a very plus for us. Um, so yes, I think we are finally, finally done. I honestly can't believe this, but this is basically our life in all these suitcases. Um, so yeah, finally done. Welcome back. We are going to have a brief old day in the morning. <laughs> Pops is going to bring me an Easter egg in the morning. Pops is going to bring an Easter egg. So we we have got a lot done today and the cases are all packed. Ewan has weighed them all and we are under but just. So I think we're just going to call it a day. We've done all we can. The cases are packed. The trunkies are packed. Mm -hmm. My carry-on bag is packed, so we are just about to have some dinner, um, aren't we? Uh, We're going to have some dinner, then we are going to paint our toenails tonight with Granny. Tonight we are going to watch a movie too. We are going to watch a movie, and we've got some sweeties for a movie. And then tomorrow we have a family day, and um, we've just got all of our family coming over, all of our friends, anyone that wants to kind of pop in and say their very last goodbye. We're going to do that tomorrow so I don't think I'm going to record tomorrow I just want to enjoy time with our family so I think I'm going to close off this video now um, because on Tuesday we will be up early we'll be up early and we will be away to the airport so I will pick up a new vlog then so what's left to say to everyone bye bye I'll see you soon everybody thanks for whatever you to do don't let to say Bye. Bye. I think it's hard how we always wait another day